What's going on, my name is JJ, or I go on as my channel, and today I'm going to show you how to connect maps together on Pokemon Essentials on RPG Maker XP. So, if you want your maps to connect together like this, where you go from one route to the other, just like this, instead of maps connecting through route passes, then this guide will explain that now. Connecting two maps together is very simple and very easy. As long as you've got, as long as you pan it out correctly. So I've got my one map here along with my route here which is where I'm going to connect them, the two together so I've got a four space gap there and I've got my a four space gap there that's all you're going to need go ahead and play your um your game when that's done go to the menu and go to debug now hit up and go up to map connections and then as you can see here I've got all the maps I want connected and you can simply grab the maps you want and move them but you but you might be thinking my map isn't there press A and then choose the map you want to bring on so say for instance I wanted to then connect route 1 so now very simply grab my route 1 and place it there hit escape and save changes yep exit from the editor yep and now we can head down and all of a sudden we're at route 1 and it's very simple just like that when connecting the maps together as you can see the editing it does need to be precise as you'll end up with a situation like this where the trees aren't looking correct so I'm back in the debug mode in the map connections bit, I'm going to press A to choose my map, and I'm going to choose uh, route 4, when we eventually get there, and hit enter, and I'm going to connect it together, and we're also going to go ahead and grab route 5. I'll put that there, so then that's all my maps there connected. I'm going to exit out and we'll just show you about the editing. Now back here we can just simply go down as you can see the trees are very well set up for these for, this to, for the city and the route to be connected together and it transitions well in between the city and the route. I hope my guide today has been helpful if it has be sure to leave a like. If there's any improvements I can make on the game or even any designs I've got here for particular towns and stuff I made. I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!